Hey, how's it going, everybody? The news and internet is full of amazing content, and not everybody always seems to have access to it. So what I like to do here is put together some trending topics and headlines and give you my opinions and outtakes in a not-so-normal format. It's my kind of attempt at comedy, I guess. You know, and I like to call them vents. So with that said, I appreciate you taking time out your day, and let's get on with some vents, shall we? So I'm looking at this article and it caught me right away and I was like, no way, no way this is real, you know, no way this can be real, there's no way. You know, okay, and not, not only that, the, the name of the article is called The Root, okay? Just add a little, let's pluralize that and you got some controver more controversy than the article title itself. Straight black men are the white people of black people. Yep, I'm starting off right with it. Okay, and, and the, the headline says, It feels counterintuitive to suggest that straight black men as a whole possess any sort of privilege. Damn. Okay, <laughs> does any straight black men out there want to comment on this? Uh, if you guys get a chance to check out this article by The Root. <laughs> on to the next one. So on this Twitter or X, whatever it is these days, you know, whatever Elon wants to call it now, you know, uh, maybe he'll just call it after everybody gets the chip in their head, you know, everybody won't be talking no more. But somebody from Canada put out here under him to trying to like, remove his post and give this guy a bunch of hell for speaking his truth. He says, when truckers protested the mandates in Canada, they were trampled on, people trampled on them. You know, they got their bank accounts froze. They went after people that tried to give them supplies and tried to help them out with a little, you know, a little bit of uh, water maybe and some stuff like that to stay alive. You know, while they were trying to stand up for some rights maybe. And then when they said the Palestine mob blocked the road in Canada, the police were delivering them, delivering them food and supplies like daily. Yep, that's the times we're living in right now. That's the times we're living in right now. And in Illinois, in a small village in Illinois, I didn't even know that Illinois had a village. No. <laughs> but anyways, this woman who's the mayor there hired a child gang rapist slammed for living like a royal after demanding a 300K salary. 300K salary using taxpayer money to do billboards, hair and makeup, and passing a law for the one who replaces her can only make 25K when she's out of the office. Good Lord. That sounds like um, a little bit of abuse of power, but you know, who am I? I'm just somebody out here just talking about it, right? I can't do nothing about that. Can't do nothing about it. But this one I wish was fake. I mean, I can't, I wish this was that, that what the next president used to say, fake news, with you know how you always used to do that. Gen Z, Gen Z job seekers are bringing parents to interviews. Damn, I wish I wasn't reading that. I wish it was fake as hell. Employers stay there, unprepared for the future. They're bringing their parents to interviews. I've seen videos of these shit-talking kids sometimes. Not all y'all, but a lot of y'all. It was like, and they has got a lot of likes, okay? So it's probably a lot of y'all, okay? I'm just saying. Where they were like... We know everything because the machine tells us what to do. Like, we got computers, so the machine tells us what to do. So you, we don't know shit, yo, people, right? All I know is I didn't need my parents for no job interview. Good Lord. Good Lord. Bringing your parents to job interviews. What's the callback like? Do they, they got to work your shift with you? Oh, my, my mom's coming in for me tonight because I don't feel good. Oh, that's next. Okay, this one. <laughs> People think my boyfriend is gay because I'm transgender. Well, I might be alongside with other people. I'll just leave that one at that. Okay, in some just-in-time news, okay, a man named Manjeet found his true love in Canada just one week before his dude visa expired. Damn. If that wasn't a nick of time, that should be the new reality show. You know, your visa got 30 days. 30 days, find a marriage, and you get to stay in America. Damn, he was like, oh, man, I thought I was never going to find a love. And then he looks at the calendar. Oh, I love her. Like, real quick, I love her. I'm, kinda, I'm a citizen now, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> One week for, how convenient. Poor woman. I feel bad for her, man. If this if is the real couple, man, G, with your, with your skeeving ass. Damn. Damn, oh, damn. <laughs> okay, California. No. <laughs> a California donut shop owner accused of making and selling pink cocaine. People are already putting in the comments, what's the guy's number? Okay, no. Now you wonder why they always go crazy for those donuts out there. And then you wonder why the crazy crime's going on. Because they're probably stealing all the shit to get more money for that pink cocaine donut sprinkle shit. 
Let me get that special, you know, let me get that disco donut. Let me get that disco dozen or whatever they call it. I don't know who they call it. Damn. She's making that pink shit. Some old school shit. Goodness. Wonder where he's from. <laughs> A mutant wolf, Roman Chernobyl exclusion zone, has developed cancer resilient abilities, studies say. And what I say is, that wolf species is probably going on a dangerous species next week because Pfizer's going to have it killed because it's curing cancer and shit. I, this next article is pretty bananas. Not anymore after reading about kids taking their parents to job interviews. I work in a brothel. Moms pay me to deflower their clueless virgin sons. So not only are they taking you to job interviews, they're taking you to get some ass because you guys ain't doing shit. You guys need to go out there and do some shit. If you wouldn't do some shit, your parents wouldn't be so involved in like taking you to get some, some sex. Okay? We want to go, wow. Okay? I didn't need my parents to go take me to have some sex or to go get a job. I'm, they might have yelled at me like, you better go get a fucking job. You know, but they didn't fucking like carry me to my job interview. Dang. Maybe they should have. I would have got a job sooner or something. But uh, wow. Wow. Just wow. In this next one, a trans woman sues boyfriend to get her testicles back. Okay, on to the next one. They're trying to pass a bill to ban the sale of cold beer in Tennessee. Selling like warm beer. Some people do like warm beer, but not me. I'm one of them like way. It's like a, to me, it's like a crime. Like it's like some to be a law to not have not cold beer. That's like putting. That's like selling crack with no cocaine in it. That's crazy. That's like having sex with no genitals on. <laughs> you know, that's crazy. That's like eating a steak with a balloon on your tongue. Like cold, not cold, hot ass beer. Some people are like, give me that hot ass beer. Like, damn, I don't want that shit where it's like separating again. It just feels like I just distilled the shit. I want some cold beer. I always get shit at the, at the IPA places too because I'm like, I want some beer tasting beer. And they're like, oh, we got one of these fucking guys. You know, I'm like, oh, well, my bad. <laughs> my bad because I like beer. In some just finding out right now days <laughs> news, 80% of Americans test positive for a chemical found in Cheerios and Quaker Oats products that may cause infertility and delayed puberty. Okay. <laughs> First of all, when did they fucking test all these people? Where, where, how do you just test 80% know that 80% got it? Like, when did they test me? When did they test you? When did they test us all? To know that it, almost all of us fucking got this shit already now. I don't know about infertility. Because, I mean, I had some babies. You probably got some babies out there. So, I don't know if that's always a thing. But, you, I mean, I didn't grow up all the way either. So, maybe that puberty thing. You're, no, I'm just kidding. But, who knows? I mean, you just took it till now to tell us that it was in this product. What else are we going to find out now? You know, Cat Williams was telling the truth when he was like, we're going to find out the truth in 2024. All kinds of truths. Yep, now, I can't eat Cheerios. He had the commercials like, it's good for your heart. You know, it's good for all this shit, but it's going to fuck up your other shit. You know, don't try to have no babies, but you're going to have a good heart. <laughs> Eat more Cheerios and some oatmeal. Fuck. Can't even trust my oatmeal now. Can't even trust my oatmeal. Well, my name is Jaime, and I'll see y'all next week. Till next time, see ya. <laughs>